have an unusual development in a case involving a Dunkin' Donuts customer. He went looking for a cup of coffee last summer, but left in an ambulance and ultimately died. Investigators say an employee landed a deadly punch during an argument that the employee is charged now with manslaughter. But today, his attorney made a big announcement in court. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez tells us what it was. I will call the Pujols case first. Corey Pujols showed up to his virtual court hearing, ready to cut a deal with prosecutors, his attorney making the I big announcement in court. We sent a resolution request to Ms. Brown on August 25th. Details of the offer were not shared yet, but the prosecutor hinted a counteroffer may be coming. I don't think that's a feasible uh, request. However, it's one that I need to address with the homicide committee. In May, Pujols, who was an employee at a Dunkin' Donuts shop in Tampa, is accused of getting into a confrontation with a customer for calling him a racial slur. They say Pujols punched the 77-year-old man who fell, hit his head, and later died. Now Pujols is charged with manslaughter. He's been out on bond ever since. The judge at the time, not thrilled about it. Far be it for me to interfere with their agreement, Mr. Pajols. You're it's very fortunate for you because I believe your bond should be enhanced from that given the facts of the CRA. Court record show Pujols told police the customer was a regular and often extremely rude. He says the day of the incident, the customer went through the drive through window, was angry at the service and parked and went inside the store and began arguing with Pujols, who landed the deadly punch. October 26th at 1.30. That works for me, Your Honor. Sounds great. Now in speedy fashion, four months later, Pujols is anxious to wrap up his case and accept whatever consequences they agree to. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. A plea deal could be hashed out soon, and the details will be announced during the next court date.